hello guys good afternoon this is Chris I'm coming to you today this afternoon because somebody sent me an email or rather a YouTube message asking to do a kind of a secular spiral ring and I said let me check this out and see if I can I can do it she thinks she called it um, a coil C O I L a coil type spiral rings so that's what I'm going to try and do and this is what it's going to look like okay all right let's jump into it and please don't forget if you're if it's your first time joining me you can subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification so you will be notified every time I upload new videos okay and please don't forget to like and share this video all right let's jump into it I'm I'm going to be using a PowerPoint presentation today to show you guys this. Let's get it done. All right, let's go to file and go to new blank presentation. Okay, let's take this out. You can close this out. All right, so let's just make uh, uh, just a simple let's make a simple um, binder or planner let's just go to this square a rectangle why do I call it square it's a rectangle guys okay so rectangle click on that I can just draw whatever however you want to draw it I'll just leave it this way it's just for the purpose of this video so I'm just gonna go to shape outline and I go no outline and then I go to shape fill I can just give it any color I want so I'll just give it this just like the sample looks okay all right so now let's go to let's go to insert click on that go to shapes and go to this rectangle again click on that so now we're going to come right here we're going to just draw this small rectangle okay and you can move it closer all right so now you go to shape outline and you say no outline all right so now let's right click go to shape format format shape and we're going to go to line right here don't do this one okay I'm gonna go to this open that up all right then you go to this that says effect open that one up okay so now when you toggle um, both of this it gives you this okay we don't want to use the fill one today okay we're gonna use this one and we're gonna use the shadow so now you go to, you're gonna go to shadow and gonna go to preset open that let's go to this inner section and you want to go to this one that says inside top left okay this one here inside top left click on that oh before we do that you know what I'm sorry I didn't highlight what I needed that for okay let's go back so go to where it says undo shadow undo that okay my bad I'm sorry guys all right now go to this small rectangle click on that and let's change that color first so let's go to shape fill and we'll go to we're gonna go to this the one that says 15% darker all right click on that and now we can go to this shadow okay my apologies for that um, mistake so click on top left inside top left all right so now if you look at it it has that um, belief that there is an there's a depth inside of this small sec inside of this small um, rectangle okay all right so now let's go and click on shape let's go to insert and go to shapes again and now we want to find that coil 
um, ring okay that called spiral ring we want to find that so we're going to go to this one that says arc all right click on that and you're going to come here and just draw that okay so when you draw it look at look at how it looks like right it looks like it's nothing all right but be patient so you drag that and put it right there okay so why that is selected go down here and just zoom okay all right just zoom and i want it this way so now that is there we're going to go to this fill and line so now we already have this okay so here i wanted to just highlight this and just put five and enter all right now we're gonna just drag this yellowish looking dot and just drag it and curve it it's making sense now right okay so now we do a little bit of this okay so now let's align this properly now hold your alt key on your keyboard and now you can move this freely okay so move it the way you want it okay and we'll leave that there all right so the next thing we're going to do we're going to change this color of the coil ring all right so i'm going to go to here this way it says color i'm going to go there and I'm going to give it this color. All right. I'm going to give it that color. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on where it says gradient. Click on gradient. All right. Now it's going to give me this look. But um, I can change all these colors the way I want them. So right here. Okay. So, so yours might, if it's your first time, um, using this yours might only have two so i'm just going to start with you guys i'm going to delete two of this so yours will just come with two okay so now let's change this color so i'll click on this and i'll go here and i'll change that color to this um blue gray the darker 50 percent change that and i'll click on this too and i'll give it the same color okay all right, now I'm going to add two more of this. I call them pillars. <laughs> so I'll add two more of this. So I'll just one, two, okay? So now I'm going to change this one. Let me show you. This one right here. I'm going to change it. Oop, did I just add one more? Yep, I did. So I'll take that one out. So I'm going to change this one. Just going to make it white. All right, and I'm going to change this one as well. And I'm going to make it a little bit a darker shade of white. All right, so now we're going to have fun just dragging and positioning them the way we want them. It depends on how you want a spiral ring to look, okay? So now I'm just going to drag this and um, drag this. Just play around with them. And then you can go here where it says linear, go down here where it says direction, open it and you can just change the directions. Okay. So this is where, this is the one I'm using. This one that is it. the first one that says linear left. You can choose whichever one you want to choose from here. Okay. It's up to you, but I'm going to choose the linear one. Okay. So right there, I can now start messing with this. And start messing with this changing the directions the way you want them to look okay so i'll try and bring this a little bit down okay so I'll hold out that will just go there just like this uh, maybe this will be better so I might just have to reduce this again okay 
so now if you if you're done then you can just drag this back down if you're not done you might you can still go ahead and keep adjusting them all right so now it's, it's kind of looking like a ring you can see this is shooting into my my um, notebook or my binder so I want to fix that and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to zoom again all right let's fix that little dot right there so I'm going to go here and drag it out all right okay let's go back oh it's still there okay let me see if I can do it from let me try one more time now what maybe if I just move it entirely let's see if I can just move it okay so I decided to move it instead of reducing the size and it's fine okay it's fine now so what I can do now I can just highlight these two so I'm highlighting this rectangle and the spiral ring okay and now I'm gonna press ctrl G or you can use command G if you are on, on Mac but I'm on Windows I'm not a Mac so I'm just gonna use Control G which is grouping so I just group them together and now I'm going to press Control D or command D if you're using Mac and now I just duplicated that and I'm going to put it I'm going to align them you can choose how far you want them but I'm going to put them right there okay and I'm going to click it again and now it's going to hire it's going to align with the same um, space okay it's going to help me with the space and i'm just going to click go in there don't do it too fast if you do it too fast it's going to go out of alignment you know just like that all right so i'm going to now highlight everything and i'm going to go to shape format align and i'm gonna go to let's say left nope i don't want that so i'm gonna go undo alignment see so you guys are here with me you can see all the mistakes i make you can see all the uh, oops that i make i don't edit my videos what you see is what you get <laughs> maybe i should start editing videos but you know what well, what's the f there's no fun in that all right, so let's just go to distribute vertically. Okay, so when I did that, something weird happened. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna control G and just copy and just um, group everything. All right, so now if you look at this, you have that spiral because the, the spiral ring, the one that kind of looks like it's going around the um the hole right here the punches right so you look like you have that so now it's up to you to now reduce this the ring is up to you to do that okay now it looks smaller and even better so that's your option to reduce it or to leave it as big as it was like this yeah so like this or like this okay so it's up to you now you can be done if you want to be done but let me just show you guys something else you can do now you can click on this on this one itself the bigger rectangle and you can go to um, shadow and you go to um, preset and now you can give this a right offset all right, so you have that shadow right there, like a right offset shadow. You can increase this so you can see the shadow. All right, you have that. And you can do a 3D um, kind of um, look of your binder. Click on that again, and you go to, um, let's go to 3D format. Drag this down, and you can just go here 
and you can choose which other which uh, uh, which one you want what kind of effect you want if you give it this this is what you have okay so now it looks well more presentable right okay so the other thing i wanted to show you guys is you can make this even more slicker if you want all right so let's click on this and duplicate that okay and now let's now this is different from that okay so it's different you see that so what i did was i pressed Control d to duplicate let me delete that and show you guys again so you click on this and you press Control d or command d and you see you duplicated that all right so now i'm just going to reduce this uh, the this one i duplicated reduce that some of you already know what i'm going to do with this so you drag this down here okay all right and then you go to shape format and you click send back boom see that and now you can drag this all the way and here you go you have a binder that has a coil spiral ring around it now you can put your title here you can put your logo wherever you want to put it and that's it thank you guys for watching i just decided to do this because someone uh, asked me to do a video like this i hope this was what you meant um, by the cross the cross spiral rings and you guys can do this is very simple you know have fun doing this and thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe i i love making videos like this and uh, if you have any question or comments you can leave them in the in the comment section and if you have any uh request of a video of your one note or binder planners let me know in the comment below if it's something i would i can do i would definitely love to do it but if it's something i cannot do i will see how i can get it done if i can't get it done i'll let you know but definitely i will try my best and do what you know i can do to help you guys out thank you again for watching and god bless have a nice day Bye bye